Keep. Stumpy Cash Cow, Big Sam's Girl don't know. Set and ready, race number nine. Bunny rolling up. Ready. And racing are coming away as one bit of speed here with Emma Jane up wide of the track. There we go to Big Sam's Girl and don't know with a play down on the inside as Runner Bartha followed further back here by Corborn Cookie off the track. A little is Stumpy Cash Girl followed by Belfast King and at the tail of the field. Sarge is one on the corner. A little Emma Jane's going to back to back them. Emma Jane will get home from Runner Bath. And then we go to the next runner across would have been Don't Know followed there by Corborn uh, Cookie. Further back was Stumpy Cash Girl and they're followed back there now. Sarge is one Big Sam's Girl and Belfast King never got into the race. Number three, Emma J. Will do the job in the first league of pick six for you. Closed off five. Jumped, ran, and kept on running today. Will win, and time will be nice too. It's just jump, found the lead quickly. The inside uh, has Emma J from the Schofield Kennels. 18 and 40, it's run. Uh, three, one, eight, and the two splits, 463. And to the post in a 13 and 77. Uh, there in that time of 18 and 40. And Emma J gets away her one um, the other day here in an 18 and 74. So certainly improved that 18 and 40 run uh, this afternoon. Uh, three, one, eight, and then the two. Let's watch them from the hop here. They broke as one. Uh, the one just run out a bit, and the fours wanted out as well. But up the back they go, and Sasha's one. Uh, I should say Emma J. That's where it's found the lead. All oh, the sixes come across, the sevens come across, and broke the field in half, hasn't these three have got away? Uh, the three, the one, and the eight. Captain Richie. So the last couple go down. Lethal Rebel looking to back up after the win here last week. Set and ready. Racing. Lethal Rebel just missed away here. Ali's Girl back to its brilliant best. Jumps and runs here from Dolly Scramble down on the inside. Lethal Rebel. Corby followed rear by a ripped jeans. And <coughs> round the outside we go. Captain Richie. The one they've got to catch is little Ali's Girl. Railing and now is the Lethal Rebel. But up they come. Ali's Girl will get home. Ali's Girl. Lethal Rebel. Then we go to Corby followed by Dolly Scramble. The inside ripped jeans. Last Captain Richie. Ali's Girl will jump and run. <clears throat> Just saying, prior, she's just been missing away. She didn't miss away today, did she? Uh, Ali's Girl, just off, gone, catch me if you can. Hmm, nothing could. Number four, Ali's Girl to beat the one lethal rebel who missed away. The two and the six, 18 and 53 the time. Splits four and 60. And to the post in a <clears throat> 13 and 93. Uh, there, so she swung in front and uh, she hasn't sighted the front for a while. Uh, lethal Rebel unwinding after just a dwelling at the start. Corby will run third. And then we go to Dolly Scramble. 4 1 2 and the 6 18 53. A length by two lengths, the official margins. Here they are from the hop. And you can see the three was a stride slow with the one, but she's just cut to the rail. And that has been the winning of the race for her today. Uh, Ali's Girl by Big Sam Jr. Black Alley for the O'Regan Kennels. Second spot, Lethal Rebel, the Hallucinate Amuse Me, the Freeman Turnwell team, the RacingDogs.co.nz. And then the two, Corby, uh, by Surf Laurie and Trendy Habit. So last couple go down. Jabu up for Arch and we're ready to go. The Johnny Midnight at stud, bunny rolling forward. Set and ready. Just about there. Racing. Alabaster gets away fairly, bit of speed out wide here. Beatrix Kiddo jumps and runs to the lead like she did last week. She won this race nicely. The inside there we go to Alabaster. Round the outside is Lock and Var Valero. The paint there for Tim Steiger followed a length or two back. Lock and Valeretto out very wide. The track mint power on the two at the tail of the field. Jabu Diamond Raider. Off the top they come. Beatrix Kiddo. Tim Steiger tracks it. Rail there for Lock and Valeretto if good enough. In behind is Alabaster. Up they come. Beatrix Kiddo still kicks the inside. Beatrix back to back. Them. Then we go to Tim Steiger, followed across here now by Lockenvar Loretta. That's been followed back by Lockenvar Valero. Uh, further back in transit, we would have had Jabu is followed towards the tail of the field there by Mint Power and Diamond Raider. Didn't yelp again today. Did it last week, did it this week. Beatrix Kiddo. Uh, there and paying about the same sort of money too, around right about the $15 mark. She jumped, crossed them off the seven. Catch me if you can. And they couldn't. Number seven. Uh, will beat the eight. 
the five and the one seven eight five and no the three out wide's got the nod just seeing it's come up on the board seven eight five and three thirty and seventy eight splits four seventy eight fifteen and eighty five and to the post in a fourteen and ninety three yes if you followed your money Global doll. My Jack attack, Corborn Jose, Captain Coots, Kiss and Kate. Last one down. And we're ready to go. High fire leg, Rohit. Set. Ready. Racing, getting away nicely. Cha Cha Chainsaw along with Kiss and Kate. Who goes straight to the lead. And behind that runner is Glow Bell Doll. Followed a length or two back here by Captain Coots. That's your one, two, three. Then My Jack Attack. Followed a couple back there by Corborna. Uh, Jose back there. Lock and Vayasi. And the tail there. Cha Cha Chainsaw out wide. Coots is home. Captain Coots will get him. Now uh, then we go to uh, Glow Bell Doll was there. Kiss and Kate was there. And behind runners was My Jack Attack. Uh, followed to further back here by uh, Lock and Vayasi. Little wishes Corborn, Jose and Cha Cha chainsaw captain coots off the six he does it will beat the seven and the eight that's a global doll and a kiss and kate here they go kiss and kate crosses so no excuses for her going into the first being captain coots he stands him up and runs him down doesn't he he's not a bad little mud is he uh, the six he goes around the outside and it's just those big strides up past kiss and kate and away he goes, balances up, and he's off. Uh, Captain Coots uh, will beat the seven. Global Doll, the eight and the two. Six, seven, eight, and two. 18 and 59. Uh, the winner's time will get some splits for you in a moment. But he's done it well. A 4.64 first, a first split, 13.95 the run in. Closing off good money too, wasn't it? 6.70 and a dollar and 70 cents. He's come from last, gone to the outside. The four's come across and uh, pratted one or two of them. That was Corborn Jose, but in the meantime, well, that's been going on. Uh, these three have got away in front. Uh, uh, Kiss and Kate. Good luck to your quaddies, pick sixes, etc. We're ready to rock and roll the last. Bunny rolling forward, set and ready. Last of the day. And racing, getting away nicely here is Naughty Cordy goes to lead out wide of the track. There we go to Lachlan. He followed there by Flying Magnum, looking for a bit of racing room. There is Pure Theatre trying to kick round the outside there. Now is Toy Sham with a bit to do. Back there we go to Astute Wiz and only Cade on the corner out wide here. Lachlan, he is driven on the inside. Naughty Cordy, we've got a jackpot. Lachlan, he, Naughty Cordy, then we go to uh, the next runner across was Flying Magnum. That's been followed home here by Art Attack. Uh, further back uh, there we would have had uh, uh, only Kate was back there. Pure Theatre and Toy Sham back towards the tail of the field you guessed it we got it the jackpot for next week michael dora hope you're tuned in i hope you're tuned in we want a big one my boy we want a big one so you'll find that uh, number eight lock Linney for uh, bob bond will do the job here uh, also up there we had uh, who did we have there naughty cordy flying magnum was there and in behind them a two art attack Posted nothing on the board. Is this a bit closer than I thought it was? Uh, let's have a look. I went the eight over the two, and those two weren't covered. <laughs> eight. Eight, two, one, and five. That's how they've gone. Yep, eight, two, one, and five posted. 18 and 82. Uh, the winner's time. Those splits four and 68, 14 and 19. Uh, the, and there we go. The old jackpot. Well done to Roberto. Uh, dear Thier, uh, our boss here at the, the Greyhounds. He's done it again. And uh, down on the inside, Naughty Cordy. We thought it might split away and give him something to chase, but uh, the one that has chased it has been Lockley.